How you doing guys? Rick, I'm in here. I'm in my uh, military museum and uh, for the next couple of days we'll be winterizing my 90 vehicles. Uh, all the vehicles from uh, World War I all the way up to the Humvees. Uh, they all need uh, to be checked with the antifreeze. We gotta check the oil. Uh, we gotta make sure everything is uh, winterized. Uh, we take all the batteries out and uh, it takes like uh, about four people and two days to do all this. So anyway, follow me. Over here we have all these uh, vehicles here lined up. Uh, we got to uh, take all the batteries out. We have a total of about 115 batteries in all these vehicles. All the vehicles after 1950 have a uh, 24 volt, so it's uh, two batteries in each vehicle, 1950 and up. The World War II vehicles uh, are 6 volt and 12 volt. So over here we got the uh, M3 half track. I have seven half tracks. We got to winterize those. I have all the uh, half tons for three quarters, the ambulances, uh, the M38A1s. Over here we got the Jeeps. I have a total of 28 Jeeps now. A lot of work to do. We have the uh, command cars over here. Uh, we got the Willys. We got the uh, World War II ambulances, the staff cars, uh, command cars, and uh, Vietnam era 151s, 15182s. Okay, you come around here. We got the uh, Mighty Bike. I got to uh, take the double batteries out of the 113. Uh, we got the 24 volt batteries in the uh, Russian tank. Over here, we got a line of half tons and uh, Jeeps I got to uh, winterize. Uh, these I had running a couple of days ago, so uh, these are the uh, staff cars, 1941 Dodge, 1942. Over here we got World War II uh, weapons carriers. We got the Gamma Goat, that's 24 volt, the M37s. Okay, over here we got the M3 half track, we got the M16 half track, we got the, uh, the half tons, World War II, 1941 to 42. We got the Willys, GPWs. Uh, I got the Hummers to do, all these Humvees, all the uh, Humvees have to be winterized, we got to air up the tires, check the fluids, and uh, it's really a lot of work to do. Yeah, these are 15182s that we're uh, putting antifreeze in, and uh, this is my uh, two-door Humvee, that's my four-door Humvee, my true carrier Humvee, and the slashback Humvee in the back there. Yeah, the one the 15182s, uh, these are the later ones, they made these, uh, the last one was made in 1983, uh, the first Humvee was made 18, uh, 1984. Okay, come around the turn here, these are M37s. These are the Dodge M37s, Vietnam era. And uh, see it's a little smoky in here because uh, we uh, start up the vehicles, we let them run a little bit and get the, uh, the new antifreeze all circulated. Here, over here we got the half ton open cab, we got the uh, CCKW over there, that's a six cylinder uh, GMC. We got the M2 half track, this is the M15 half track. And uh, yeah, listen to the way he's running. Nothing like a Dodge. Listen to that motor, purrs like a kitten. Yeah, all my stuff runs perfect. Yeah, these, uh, these M37s, they actually made uh, 1950 to 1968, and the GIs that come through the museum here, they tell me they're still using M37s in bases all around the world. You can't kill a Dodge. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to start up this uh, M15 half drive. This is the M15, very, very rare. 1941 to 42, the White Trucking Company, Wisconsin, made 520 of these. Over 400 went overseas and never came back. And luckily, I have two of them. Okay, guys, you ever see uh, what's in a half track? Here, come over here, you can take a look. This is what the M15 half track looks like. See, those are all rifle uh, holders in the, in the back there. Yeah, let me hop in here. Yeah, it's a rough ride. Okay, let's push the button. Starts right up. Oh, 
Oh, that's something, huh, guys? My vehicles have run like brand new cars and trucks. Okay, guys, I just want to show you what's going on at the Colorado Springs Military Museum. Uh, you guys have a great day. I only have a few more tours going on. Uh, we close the museum after my veterans party, uh, November 11th. So we have about three or four more tours. If you want to come see the museum on a Sunday at 10 o'clock, and Veterans Day is on a Monday, I'll have my museum open at 10 o'clock on Monday to honor the veterans. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.